a wonderful journey in classical music that started four weeks ago on this stage. 20 talents from five countries embarked on this extraordinary journey. Am I talented? They brought us unforgettable moments. Lifelong friendships were born. <laughs> and they proved to us that classical music is, in fact, very cool. I like it, that was cool, huh? 10 contestants were given a chance to become the winners of the competition. Tonight, there is a lot at stake. Each country has to select a winner. The decisions will be made with the help of a world-famous opera star. Thank you very much, Maestro. But besides the serious moments, we will also have a lot of fun. <laughs> Who will be the best? Find out tonight. The winner is... Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. Let the super final begin. This is the super final of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus International Talent Show from Budapest. The two hosts are Ida Novakovska and Tomas Gotchak. Hello and good evening all of our viewers from the Visegrad 4 countries and Serbia and good evening Ida. I'm so happy to have you on my side Thomas, tonight. Thomas, you look like a king. Took me some time. <laughs> That's not true. Over the past few weeks, amazing young talents from your countries have been showcasing here in Virtuoso Visegrad 4 Plus. The young musicians came from the Czech Republic, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, and Serbia. And now they are prepared to show their skills in the super final. All will be excited. Some may be a little bit nervous, but at the end, we are sure we will look at the future of classical music. Today, the big day has come to decide who will be the winners of the Virtuoso Visegrad 4 Plus. There will be two contestants performing from each country and the jury will decide who wins. The jury, whom you probably already know well, Peter Valentovic from Slovakia. Uh, welcome to Silvana Gruit from Serbia. Gabriela Bohatova from the Czech Republic. Erika Miklosha from Hungary. And Alicia Vengozewska from Poland. As uh, so with all of the other shows, a super jury will join the jury. And he is one who together, together with the member of each country, decides who will be the winner for that very country. And today's super judge is none other than one of the greatest and most influential singers in the history of opera, who has sung more than 150 roles over his more than 50-year career. The 12-time Grammy Award-winning, world-famous tenor, who has been a supporter of Virtuoso for years. He is a shareholder and he is a good friend of this show. Welcome, Maestro Placido Domingo. <laughs> The world's best-known opera singer, a regular guest on the stages of all great opera houses, the most influential artist of modern opera, accomplished conductor, and a living legend. He has been named the King of Opera by Newsweek. Besides his solo career, he owes his enormous popularity to the group he formed with Luciano Pavarotti and Jose Carreras, the three tenors. The unique formation has shown that the key to success often does not lie in rivalry, but in joining forces. The recording of their first concert has become the most successful classical album of all times. Feliz 
Domingo's unparalleled career has been acknowledged with numerous awards, ranging from Grammys to honorary doctorates at many universities. And he even received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Placido Domingo is a devoted supporter of young, talented musicians and singers, and he is associated with several talent programs. Their minds are unbelievable, and uh, the talent too, you know. I mean, so when, when you see with uh, such a short life, such a short age, they have those qualities, musicals. I'm even intellectual. Please welcome the world-famous tenor and conductor, Maestro Placido Domingo. Hello. Thank you. Such a pleasure to be here tonight. Did you count all the applauses you ever got in your life? Must be millions, huh? <laughs> well, the public, uh, the public is very enthusiastic. You know, you know it very of well. Of course, I know. <laughs> but so that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Placido, one question. Um, of course, I've. I've seen and heard you singing, and uh, I see you more and more conducting, and I'm looking a little bit for a retirement job, and I think <laughs> conducting would be a good thing for me also. I have that kind of... Okay. <laughs> Why not? But I, to be true, because I'm looking for that job because I don't think an orchestra really needs a conductor. They know what they do. I think it's like just... Well, well sometimes... It's better than they play alone, you know? Yeah. The beautiful thing is to be able to feel together, you know, with I don't the, need the whole the two hours concertos. I just need a nice beginning, da -da -da -da, and I need a good end. Could you show me a good end, just what to do, to just make it a... The final, a, a the finale, final, yeah. yeah. The grande finale. Do you want to try it? I, I think the most important thing is that little stick, huh? Yeah. Don't yeah, you yeah. think? I thought he has some Chinese food with him. You look like you're from <laughs> Harry Potter now. <laughs> okay, no, 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 you, you show me what to do. We play the last chord, you know. <gasps> wow, ah. that was amazing. Okay, it's, Thomas, it's the round thing. It's, the, it's well, not the this. round or whatever, you know, but you know, I mean. <laughs> it's, it's not this, it's this, right? It's the anticipation. It's the anticipation. Okay, you know? so you do exactly what you just did and don't look at me, okay? <laughs> okay. Very good. Brilliant! Yeah. You Very have good. the hair okay. for it. You really do. I think you have to really conduct uh, our show here. Placido, very, very warm welcome here. It's and great. It's great to be there, and I am so anxious to hear all this talent. Placido Domingo, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, you very much. You can take your super judge seat. Okay. Thank you for Thank being you. here with us. Nice really you. pleasure. All ears. See? Okay, now, Thomas, you so have to I give ha this... I have to give this back. I know this is the worst thing for she a conductor to. to give this away. Okay, give it, so give this it is, back to him and introduce him. This is the best moment to officially introduce our amazing orchestra, the Budafoki Dohnani Orchestra and the conductor Gabor Holerun. So let the show begin. Our first contestant to take the stage is that charming little Serbian girl who plays the saxophone. Unfortunately, on stage, she was a little bit shy with me. She may think I'm a, I'm a horror guy from uh, some Serbian fairy tale, maybe. But I heard with Ida, she was very relaxed, very happy, and I was told she was laughing. What did I wrong? <laughs> You know, actually, when I was little, uh, I had a friend who was very shy to speak as well, and she would only speak to her toy, so we would speak through the toy, and that's what I did with Christina. And her toy told me that Christina really likes you. Uh -huh. And she laughs at all of your jokes, but secretly. I will definitely speak to the toy. <laughs> okay, well, cannot wait to see that. Let's welcome on our stage Christina Vasic. I chose a piece called Prelude a Divertissimo for the Super Final. 
I think that this piece that I play in the super final will be a big success. You're not just cute. You are a real, already a real musician. Last time the judges said many beautiful things to me, and I can't wait to hear what they have to say now. See, this is this is where the ear is missing. If I win, I'd like to buy ears for my dog that I could sew into him. And I'd also buy something for myself, my little brother, my mom and my dad, for the whole family. Just focus and relax. Okay. On stage, Kristina Basic from Serbia. like a princess from a fairy tale with a saxophone, you know? Okay, I will ask your friend, uh, what did he think about your performance? <laughs> oh, he said it's amazing, but he really likes Thomas's hair today. <laughs> ah. And I found your dog's missing ear. Oh my god. It has two missing ears, but one is good enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, what do you think about that? Mm, close to smile, right? 
Maybe she doesn't really think I'm serious uh, because I'm only a television guy. In Germany, I'm a famous conductor. Can I show you? Should I show you my conducting? It's okay. I need my yeah. little... You don't believe it, huh? I only do the end. See that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Very good, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. <laughs> but she was smiling. She was really smiling. So that was the funny part. But now we are getting serious. And now this is Ludwig van Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> there is something in music which it goes between one note and the next one and that it happens. You are a real musician, and uh, the fact that you are very young, I mean, it doesn't help for, to say it, she's good. No, you are really good, very good. Um, the, you will be a great musician. Thank you. <laughs> Christina, Christina so congratulations. Fantastic you have a fantastic sense of music, something we could see even in the first round. As the master said, your phrases were beautiful. When we listen to you with our eyes closed, we can hear an older artist. You have a great future ahead of you. And we are sure that one day you will be really successful. Thank you. Bravo, yes. amazing. We are just so impressed with everything that you're doing. I give you back your Thank friends, you. okay? Thank you. Oh, hugs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cristina. Big bravo. Thank you. Moment, moment, a speech. Thomas, Thomas, you have become my friend just like my dog. Oh, oh. Hi, oh. Hi, and I have two ears. <laughs> that is so cool. Ah, wow. you made my day. Thank you, my lady. Thank what a you. beautiful coda to this, this whole show. The judges told me that I'd be famous when I grow up, and I think they are right. I do my best to live up to it and to become famous. You were great, and you told Thomas about the friendship. <laughs> yes. So finally, Christina talked to me. With some girls, I had a little bit of difficulties because of a language problem. But I could help in one case. Meine Lippen. Meine Lippen. This was uh, something uh, Erika gave as advice to Alžbeta, the Slovak opera singer, when it was in the last masterclass about more texts. We will soon hear how much she has managed to incorporate this advice. Let's hear the lip pen. I think I have uh, bad news for you because today um, she is not, about is, is not singing in German. Ah. Unfortunately, she will be singing in Italian. Maybe you can help I'm her with again. that. I'm okay. Out again. Okay. Yes, she will be singing today Donna Elvira's aria from Mozart's opera Don Giovanni. So let's hear Alžbeta Rehakova from Slovakia. Alžbeta. <laughs> Rehakova. Again, fresh professional experience. More text. Lippen küssen. Thought about the duet like La Cinarenda. If someone had told me two or three months or a year ago that I'd be singing in the super final of a competition like this, in front of the cameras and in front of Maestro Placido Domingo, I wouldn't have believed them. I would have thought they are crazy. On stage, Ashbeta Rehakova from Slovakia.
I love Mozart. <laughs> Beautiful. But you are in a shaky situation right now because now it's gonna come down to this or this. <laughs> so Erika and Alicia, I like to know because that's very close to you. Donna Elvira who gave the revenge, it was really powerful. And uh, Mozart fits you very well because uh, uh, you, you did this control yeah, over the, the body and the mind. But it's very important that you sing Mozart. Uh, so um, I love the, the energy, uh, every, everything. I understood what you done. It was a good job, really. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, for you. Thank you. Please. Oh, Alžbeta. I was surprised, very positively surprised. You have such an intensity, anger. You know, I, I, I can believe that you're going to cut his heart and take, take away from his chest. Well, absolutely. Don Alvira, it is a very difficult role when you are 18 years old. I don't want to say it, be, be careful, but yes, I say it. Because there are many, many roles that you can um, do before you should do it. I don't say it is a wrong role for you. Mm -hmm. It will be fine, but just be careful. But congratulations, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, were you. Very well, Thank you. Singing in front of Placido Domingo was a great experience. I really enjoyed it. And when I took the stage, I was like, wow, I really have to focus to do this right. Sweetheart, it was beautiful. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Beautifully. Thank you very much. Thomas, I'm wondering if you uh, figure out which language you're going to speak to Edward today. I don't know, maybe Japanese, Czech, French, German. Uh, we're going to speak that cool, cool guy language, kind of. The, uh, yeah. the yeah. language I don't really my speak. Man. My I'm man. not that cool. <laughs> because he is my man. By the way, Edward enchanted us with the violin playing last week, taking us to a fabulous movie scene, and now he chose Rimsky Korsakov's Golden Rooster to impress. Maestro Placido Domingo. Let's hear Eduard Kollert from the Czech Republic. You have the passion, you have love for music. I would probably go more extreme to the dynamics, even more to make a subito piano, subito forte, like more, more ecstatic. In the Masterclass episode, the jury telling me some uh, advices, very interesting ones. <laughs> I'm rooting forward to perform on Superfine, so I'm practicing everywhere I can. I'm really grateful to my mom that she's with me, so I can ask her how it sounds and get advice from her all the time. I want to really win the competition, but I want to enjoy the stage playing with orchestra, so I try to not be too nervous. On stage, Eduard Kolat from Czech Republic.
Award, our star. You were incredible. Thank you. Where did you come from? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, the golden rooster. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like it was done for me. <laughs> Applause from all these people. Must be like heaven for you. So let's see what the, the marks are. Gabriela. Um, yeah, it was a heartwarming um, performance. For me, it was your best performance that I saw so far. Thank you. It was a very difficult piece. It's a technically challenging, but you were great and it didn't sound academic. You put your heart and soul into it. Besides, today we even had a little eye contact with you. Overall, I saw a little more of your personality, which is exactly what we wanted so much. So thank you. It was Excellent. Thank you. Did you feel good about yourself today? I mean, it must be a lot of stress. Yeah, but it was a pleasure to play here, you know, to play for these people. I was really rooting forward to play for Maestro Domingo. Ah, what can I tell you? I mean, this is amazing, you know, this is such a complicated uh, piece. And the, the kind of cadenza that you have, it was perfection. You are going to go around the world, you know. Because Thank you very much, Maestro. A real musician, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So first of all, I have to tell you that your interpretation, your musical interpretation was fantastic. It's so many tempo changes and you, you were so into it. And I wish you all the best and congratulations. We're wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank One you. One last question, but important. Do you think they do the jacket in my size? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I, I'm afraid maybe not. <laughs> sure. Be careful, so, it might not, you might not have it after this, you know, because nah. I can see Thomas. <laughs> and we are looking forward to your further career. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Edward. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. You. I really like the opinion jury. It's very warm. And I'm really grateful that uh, Maestro Domingo really liked my performance. And also the other judges, they were really positive about me, so. Yeah, I'm really happy now. Oh, I'm very proud. Thank you. This got you were amazing. We have two accordion players in the final, and they played with such virtuosity, let alone play classical music. Uh, I didn't think you would do this with this instrument, but David's way of performing is quite amazing. And uh, I absolutely agree with you. But can you imagine that this 14-year-old boy doesn't even have his own instrument? And he has to rent it every time he wants to play and practice and even to be here. Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, extraordinary that you go so far to achieve your dreams. So uh, one of the reasons he would really love to win this competition is actually to be able to buy himself an accordion. You can say it. You say it so well. David Siewiecki. Good, yes, from Poland. From Poland, <laughs> Polska. <laughs> you are a true virtuoso. When you merge with instrument, it's part of you. He made me emotional way because he looked a little, you know, to me it's sad. But this guy was just, you know, full of joy and, and you it's know, he's dreaming touch. to have his own instrument. I just, I just, I just found him very emotional. Of course, I've used the winnings to buy a new instrument. This is my biggest dream, to have my own accordion. For the super final, I chose a piece by my favorite composer, Vladislav Zolotarev, the Rondo Capriccioso. In this piece, I can show off my technique and all my strong suits. On stage, David Siewiecki from Poland.
David, David, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. High five, great. Oh. <laughs> David, Super. you are lucky. She's Polish, you are Polish. So I will leave it to you. You know, a moment ago, I saw from the corner of my eye that Gabriela, the Czech judge, shedding some tears today, too. How does it feel for a young artist like yourself to bring someone to tears with your music? Well, this is indeed a wonderful feeling. And I'm very happy that someone appreciates the way I play the accordion and my entire musical career so much. Thank you for this and another incredible touching experience, David. Uh, I admire your technique of both hands and, and the diversity of your dynamics. And every single time I'm just saying to myself, I've never seen such a performer in my life. You know, you dance with the instrument, you give us so many emotion, it's, in, it's incredible. Um, you know, what else can I say? I'm, I'm so touched, really. Congratulations. Team Korea. Thank you. Team Korea. Thank you so much. Um, how about um, Alicia, our Polish judge? David, David this was a breathtaking performance. Let me put it this way. As I was watching you, I saw the instrument and you become one. You not only make sounds with your instrument, you make it sing. You managed to realize all the melodies, all dynamic nuances. Moreover, even so you are young, your musicality reminds me of someone who has a lot of experience performing on stage. I will keep my fingers crossed. Alicia, Ida, David, you had your Polish party now. Now we're getting serious. It's, of course, you love each other, but, Master... It is beyond my understanding what you are doing. All the way with the musicality and the feeling that you that you play the scales are amazing it's just uh, it's just not to believe you know and uh, this is a totally discovery i think that you have a phenomenal career you know congratulations uh, as i said my first work beyond my understanding <laughs> oh. thank you very much oh. It was wonderful that I could show off my abilities in front of the international judges. I think I managed to show my best, and I'm very proud of myself. It was great. The next contestant is a 14-year-old virtuoso pianist girl who we got to know quite well during the past few weeks. That's right. It was fantastic to listen not only to her competition pieces, but to see how she performed her own piece when asked by the jury. Hungary is represented in the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus by the excellent pianist, Ildiko Rozonic. The first time I was here at the casting, I was scared and afraid of the whole thing. But since then, I realized that I had no reason to be afraid. The people were nice and I think everything was perfect. It doesn't matter what happens in this competition. You are a God-given talent. The sensitivity and the, the, the control that Ildiko had was, was marvelous and such musicality. I felt great and I felt that I opened up completely. And I think I transformed into a whole new person. I'm very excited to play in front of Placido Domingo in the super final. But I must remain calm, otherwise nervousness may affect my performance negatively. So I work hard to be even more confident and to make my performance smooth and spectacular. On stage, Ildiko Rozonic from Hungary.
Congratulations, Marie. Well, really, congratulations. Uh, you you know how we say it, you killed it, you really killed it. I think it was perfect. Uh, really? You yeah, I loved it. Wow. Ah. wow. I thought I was going to mess it up, but it was, it was perfect. Yeah, because I actually saw you backstage, and I didn't know what's happening. You know, Ildiko usually is very calm and concentrated, uh, and she was just like, you know, she was just so excited. I, I, I was confused yeah, what's going on. But I liked it. In the beginning, I thought you were a little bit shy, and now you are really on the stage, right? You like it now. Yes. You yes, love that love. business. It's very good. Let's see what the judges uh, thought about your performance. Let's start from Erika. You are talented in all of the things you do, all of them. It's great to see that you enjoy doing this so much, that you are happy while playing. It was a heartwarming experience and I am proud of you. I respect you very much. You are a great performer. The things you do with this instrument, I couldn't stand a chance even if I practiced for 60 years. I could never play like you. You are so relaxed and natural. And you have so much love for this genre. So hats off to you and thank you very much for making me so proud of you. Thank you. Dear Ildiko, I liked your interpretation. Um, you had good coordination with an orchestra. Uh, I like your technique, your passages, uh, your scales and everything. And we can say serious musician. Thank so, you. thank you. The master's voice. Enjoyable just to see you, how much you are really being so happy to do what you are doing, you know. I never hear it as fast as it is. Probably, probably I, it's not a concert that I hear many times, but it was really unbelievable. You can enjoy your youth, and I know that you are a composer also, and you really this great talent at 14 years old. So congratulations and uh, really, we wish you the best. Thank you so much. I met a lot of musicians, I've been in rock concerts, I've seen classical concerts, but with you, it had a special quality. That, that minutes we were watching you and I really congratulate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Big, big applause. Uh, that was amazing. Thank you. It felt wonderful that everybody gave me positive feedback. The words they used really made me feel very good. It was amazing to hear, especially Maestro Placido Domingo saying that my performance was incredible and unbelievable. You were great. I am proud of you, very proud of you. It was beautiful. Now you have already seen the talents of the Virtuosos production in our previous broadcast. The following performance is no different. The 17-year-old young man was the winner of his age group in the fourth season of the Hungarian TV show Virtuosos. He started playing the piano at the age of nine, has won numerous international piano competitions, and has been on stage with the most renowned conductors, including Placido Domingo at the piano, Soma Balas Piri. Winner of his age group in the 2018 Virtuosos, Balas Piri Soma. He impressed even the greatest conductors with his talent, his attention, and the way he plays. After his success in Virtuosos, he gave concerts in London, New York, and Doha. He has been appointed Young Ambassador of Classical Music of Hungary. Welcome to the Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus stage, Shoma Balazspiri. Thank you. 
Good evening again. Welcome back to the super final of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. So far, one contestant from each of the five countries has performed in front of our wonderful judges and tonight's super judge, Maestro Placido Domingo. They're the future of classical music. Let's continue with the next five contestants of the Visegrad countries and Serbia. The next contestant is one of my personal favorites, a wonderful little lady with whom I even did some splits backstage. Zarina not only plays the harp angelically, but also really loves ballet. Next to represent Poland, Zarina Zaradna. But for me, it's really important that I can be here at the super final of the virtuoses. I really wanted to make it into the final, and I managed to do it. And I'm happy that I can play on this stage again and again. This is simply a wonderful feeling. This will be my first time to play with an orchestra. I can't wait to perform with the orchestra on stage. The rehearsal was great, so I'm really happy. Budapest is a beautiful place. I like it very much. You can take walks everywhere and everything is wonderful. I even learned some Hungarian words. My favorite one is... On stage, Zarina Zarodna from Poland. Congratulations! How are you feeling? I feel wonderful. 
Do you feel like a princess from a fairy tale? Yes. And you also look like one, do you know that? Alicia? I must say, in spite of the fact that you are only nine, you have a very strong personality and it has a powerful effect on us. We also feel exactly like we are in a fairy tale in a better world. Thank you for your exceptional musicality. I wonder about all of the places where I will follow you when you give concerts throughout the world. I'm signed up for that too. We can travel together. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, my dear. Our mentor here, Maestro Placido, has to say about whether he thinks you're an angel too. Really an angelical plane, and uh, I think we we are all, you know, amazed by you. I think Zarina could successfully pursue different careers. She is also a great dancer. A ballet dancer, and she is very good at it. Can you show us the move? Just one. Now you can relax. No pressure. Wow. It's her favorite. Piąteczka Zarina, high five. You are so cool. This is beautiful. Do you like? I bring you home. Okay. We did go back together. Congratulations. When I was playing in front of Placido Domingo, I felt great. I knew he was watching me and I felt happy to perform. And I'm really happy that I had the chance to perform in front of someone like him. Thomas left to uh, this fairy tale land with Zarina. But we move on. Maestro, as far as uh, I know, I heard, you also sang in a rock band. And, uh, you know, you were young and it was a big rock and roll hit. Is that true? Rock and roll, no. They were some uh, young artists when I was growing in Mexico. And they were very popular. And uh, I was just uh, doing the back singing, you know. Put your head on my shoulder. And I was it. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> wow, amazing. See the different <laughs> paths that people go through, right? Right in their musical word. Imagine our surprise when one of our musicians who plays classical pieces on guitar is a virtuoso in a way because he played hard rock on stage as well. Let's see what genre Vuk Vukailovic uh, from Serbia is playing in his super finals performance today. We should play together someday. Play one day. Sure, sure. <laughs> I'm very happy that I made it into the super final. I hope that I can show off my best. In the super final, I play a piece by Isaac Albeniz Asturias. This is a very virtuosic piece with fast and slow parts, and I can show off a lot of emotions, technique, and dynamics in it. It is very motivating to have the chance to play in front of Placido Domingo, and it's a great honor that he'll give his opinion on my performance. On stage, Vuk Vukailovic from Serbia.
Bravo. Bravo. Vogue, congratulations. Klaus that was Pune. fascinating. Oh. It's stunning, such an elegant instrument, elegant guy. For me, you get all the possible points. But let's see what our, what our juries are saying. Maestro? You show us not only the virtuoso, indeed, um, playing the great with technique, but also artistically, the pianissimo, the difficulty, the rubatos that you were playing and so on, you know, of a great, great, great musician. Silvana. It's not easy to be on stage on your own, just you and your guitar, but you have done your best. I really like the fact that your phrases were breathing. You weren't anxious, you weren't rushing. Thank you very much. Alicia. Vuk, what attention to detail, you know, precision. What a beautifully, beautifully run melody. And the doors uh, made the Spanish caravan song, so maybe you can make the, the version for heavy metal, or oh, hard wow. rock. Mm, yeah. Yes. Using this, uh, this melody, think about it. I think it's true. You played uh, in two metal bands, right? But you played the drums. Is that the uh, truth? Yes? Yes, that's Imagine, right. I mean, how cool. Metal band, drums, yeah. and then you go and do like classical work on guitar. Yeah, that's, that's important. And you make Cristina a metal uh, a girl, right? Is that True? Da, da, yeah. That's right, I'm trying. We were sitting in the room and I played a song for her. And then I showed her what to do with her fingers. <laughs> well, as you can see, the classical musicians are definitely uh, way cooler than, you know, other kids. Thank you, Vala. I'm very satisfied with my performance and with the opinions of the judges. It was really wonderful. When Placido Domingo said at the end that I'm not only a great musician, but also an artist, when I heard that, I shivered at the thought. <laughs> she heard it. Tell him what you heard. I heard what you said. <laughs> I'm sure we have met some of the greatest classical musicians of the future here in Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. And I'm also sure that, as we wished for her, Aina Maros will be the world's best known recorder player one day. So far, we thought uh, the recorder wasn't really an instrument related to classical music, but then the 13-year-old Slovak girl proved it otherwise. We've heard amazing pieces of classical music from her so far, and we're looking forward to the next one. So, next is up on stage, Aina Maros from Slovakia. That she wants to play Baroque music, mm -hmm. for me, it's unbelievable. You showed us what it is to be a virtuoso. Wonderful. This competition is truly a lifelong experience for me. Aina Maros. Obviously, I'm a little stressed now before the super final because this is really the most important part of this competition. I will play Richard Harvey Concerto Incantato in the super final. On stage, Aina Maros from Slovakia.
Brava! Aina! Wow! Incredible! <sighs> when I heard you the first time, I thought, that's all you can do with this instrument. When I heard you the second time, I said, oh my God, there's even more, and now it was a different color again. Thank you so much. Maybe nobody has had such an experience with different instrument, different artists than Maestro Domingo. So what is your experience in the flute business? I, th I think in the last 20 years, it's becoming a very popular instrument. It's, uh, it's very much uh, chosen in the schools to teach the instrument. Uh, I don't know, I cannot imagine why they show it so much in the schools. Maybe they think it's an easy instrument. <laughs> I find it so difficult. I mean, with the all acrobacies you do, and you know, and, and, and such a speed, you know, inc incredible. Congratulations, you're really a great artist. Thank you very much. Aina, you have incredible sovereignty in all respects. You were in perfect unity with the orchestra. In all of your performances, you were listening to the orchestra and following them. It feels great to look at you and listen to you. I'm a huge fan of yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bravo. Thank you very much. Bravo. The accordion has become really trendy. I think we can say that now that we have two accordion players in the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus Super Final, it's a really interesting phenomenon. It's true. One, one flute, but two accordions. Absolutely. So far, they've only shown their talent in solo performances, but now Martin leaves his comfort zone to play with the orchestra. Next up is Martin Schulz from the Czech Republic. When I came here to the semifinals round in Budapest, I really didn't think I could get into the final. The first piece you were, you were so focused into the music and rhythmically so perfect. In the masterclass episode, the jury gave me some uh, advices. You, you really look up and we had the, the eye contact with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I think it needs sometimes. I think in this piece what I will play, it's one very good advice to look at the jury, to look at the people and uh, transform to them my emotions from the plank. I'm a little bit nervous because Maestro Placido Domingo is a really huge star in uh, music, but I'm really happy that I can uh, perform the music in front of him. On stage, Martin Schulz from Czech Republic.
Thank you. That was good. Thank you. Oh my Thank you. goodness. Hello. 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 That was kind of serious for you. Yeah. You're such a funny guy, but you can be serious, right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, for five minutes, like yeah. me. Okay, good. You did, you did okay. Let's hear from Peter. What did you think about this piece? Well, you showed us, Martin, something very different. Uh, you, it's not a virtuoso piece in the sense of technique, but it's a very difficult piece. You have only one voice, you know, you don't use the left hand. And uh, you played it so delicate, you know, it's such a delicacy. I mean, this music is obviously very well known and everything, but you, the, the way you make the phrases, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You are very musical and I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gabriela. Uh, Martin, I'm deeply touched, not only because of the way you play, but also because of your personality. I'd like to thank you for the piece that you chose, because, as the other have said, you have shown us a completely new side of yours. We already know that you have excellent technique. Now we have seen other dimensions of your personality. It was really enjoyable. You played beautifully. It was breathing together with you the whole time. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Maestro. So, Martin, I, I wish I was here in the preliminaries, then I will hear you doing something very technical, very complicated, but the difficult of this piece is really to make justice to the fantastic, glorious music of Piazzolla, you know? And uh, you really, you gave all, all your heart into his music. So I, I really, I really love it and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Much. We know that Placido Lux likes the folkloristics. The first performance, you did some special kind of check for... Uh, polka. Uh, yeah, the, the yeah. polka thing, just for him. Yeah. And the thing, just I love it. Bit, okay, just a little bit, just a little bit. Can you on. give, give just, a little just example? Especially okay. for Placido Domingo. A ver, a ver. Carajo. <laughs> Ku Praze uhání vlak, v něm krásná dívenka tak. Jde do města, aby užila, co na venkově chudá ztratila. Jde do města, aby užila, co na venkově chudá ztratila. Jdeš se, Mařenko, načpat, až budem za spody, budem se mačkat. Pepíčku, těž se, Mařenko, načpak, až budem za spry, budem se mít. Pepíčku, těž se, Mařenko, načpak, až budem za spry, budem se mít. Yeah! I know he would like it. Improvisations. Thank you. Martin Schulz. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think I gave it everything that I could in like emotional stuff in this piece and so on. Now Placido may remember our next contestant but because she is one of the few who had the opportunity to perform in front of the maestro already. Moreover, Amira has been on stage performing with Placido Domingo as well. The 15-year-old violinist representing Hungary was discovered in the Virtuoso TV show. She always impressed the jury with her precise, expressive violin playing. Next up is Amira Abuzara. The whole country learned the name Abuzara. You sounded exactly like a mature and accomplished artist. Some of the music you played for us today should be prescribed for people's medicine. Let me show you the syncope. And then... From the very beginning, I have been excited to play this piece with the orchestra because so far I have only played it with the piano and I like it very much. I'm very happy that I can play for Placido Domingo again in the Super Final because on the one hand we have already played together and on the other he is a very inspiring person. I had to make a presentation about a famous person I liked very much, and I did a presentation on Placido Domingo. So now I know his complete biography by heart. 
I'm very happy to represent Hungary in Virtuosos, and it doesn't matter what happens tonight. It has been great to be here again in Virtuosos. On stage, Abu Zara Amira from Hungary. Amira! Hello, welcome back. Incredible performance. I mean, you know, everybody says I'm speechless, but when I look at you and the grace you have, because it's, uh, it's to me it's not just the musical quality, but the grace you have, the presence on stage, is, it's really touching and I do get speechless and I usually talk a lot. But anyways, uh, thank God I'm not a judge, but Erika is a judge. How do you feel about Amira's performance? First of all, I need a tissue and a makeup artist <laughs> because I have been part of such a musical experience that. And it doesn't matter how old you are. Nobody cares how old you are when you give me goosebumps. And I'm incredibly proud of you. I have nothing else to say. I'm tired to bits. The Hungarian girls are really very strong. Thank you very much. Maestro, uh, you know each other already. Uh, well, yes, Amira, congratulations. It's great to see you growing, you know, in the last, uh, I think, almost three years. It is amazing that you uh, play this, this uh, phenomenal piece with, uh, I, I can't say it, with the feeling of a singer, okay? I can hear the rubato, the rubato in it, you know, the really, really there lying in the, in the melody with the beauty and uh, also the very much feeling of an operatic piece. I just looking forward for what you will do and I wish you really the best and I'm very, very proud that you are in this competition. Thank you very much.
One last question. A lot of girls in your age, 14, they use their cell phone uh, during the day as long as you play the violin. Between you and me, is it worth it? Do you have to give up a lot what other girls do? Are you sometimes jealous if they are chatting and if they are uh, on... Or do you think, no, I'm in my own world, I love what I do? What is the situation? I mean, it's not like I practice 24 hours a day. Thank <laughs> so God. So I also have the time to chat. Okay, <laughs> good. I don't need to worry. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't miss anything? No, till now not. I'm glad. You seem like a happy girl, <laughs> and now you should be a very, very happy girl after you heard this. Thank you so much for Thank today. Thank you. Bravo. Now you know it's a short It was really great to play Wagner's album Blatt in the super final. I'm happy that the judges like this piece. Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus is special in many ways. It is a groundbreaking concept. A classical music talent show airing in prime time in five countries at the same time, with competitors from five countries, world famous stars and super judges. And of course, for such a show, you need a great team song, because otherwise it's not a great show. Something you will remember for the rest of your life. The theme music of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus has been composed by none other than Placido Domingo Jr. The Mexican-born composer is also active as a singer and a record producer. His passion for music developed in his early childhood, which is not surprising given that his father is Maestro Placido Domingo. <laughs> He wrote songs for world-famous stars. His pieces were sung by artists including Michael Bolton, Sarah Brightman, and Diana Ross. He was a contributing author and his father's duet partner on the album of songs based on the poems of Pope John Paul II. This album reached the top chart on Billboard magazine's top classical crossover albums in 2010. Numerous albums prove that Placido Domingo Jr. is a worthy successor of his father both as a composer and as a singer. Welcome on the stage of the Virtuoso's Visuograph 4 Plus, the composer of this team song. It is, surprise, Placido Domingo Jr. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it true that you would want to become a soccer player, of course, and your dad said, no, 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 you have to compose some music first? Well, actually, I confused him quite a bit. You know, I wanted to be a doctor, then a race driver, then a soccer player. I wanted to be a few things, you know, and I'm glad that he took me in the direction of music because I think that that's something that I've, I've been able to finish and to maybe do, do quite well at it, you know. So, and he cannot be a judge of what you did, but he can help you in some other way. Uh, I take him off the judge's bench, so you will be in peace and quiet, okay? Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> this, is, this is a worthy, I have heard it, and I said yes, and I'm gonna host it. With that music, you get that right speed, the right air under your wings, so let's hear it.
Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. 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 The son is happy, the father is happy. Okay. Great, great music. Um, we made an agreement, uh, Maestro, that uh, we would share the kind of the work in this show. I would be the guy who would give the winners and the losers their information, but you would be nice enough while you're on stage to give away a very special prize now. Okay, I am going to do it. But first I want to thank my son Placido for the piece that he wrote, okay? Okay, I know that not everybody can win in a competition. There is a boy that I really admire very much. Marta, my wife and my family, we love him. I think he's really, really an extraordinary violin player. And he don't make it to the finals because it is, it happens. I promise you, he's really, really a, a great musician. And uh, I just want to say that we want to give him a very special prize because he deserves it. Very good. Can I introduce his name? Yes. Yes. Now I am asking to come on stage, Theo Gertler from Slovakia. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Theo. Theo, we want to give you this special prize. And of course, this goes with uh, a metallic amount, you know, because I think that you have to continue your studies. So congratulations, and here it goes this to you. Okay. Theo Gertler from Slovakia. I'm very happy uh, that I could share the music to you. Oh, thank you. And now we have reached the end of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus Super Final. We present on stage all the contestants of the final. Even if this was a classical award show, I'm reminded of the old pop song, everyone's a winner, hot chocolate. Nobody ever heard it. <laughs> Absolutely. I think what those kids want from you, it's some advice for their future, because in future years, they will say five times in a week, as Placido Domingo once told me. And you don't even have to lie. He will tell you now. Well, of course, nobody is a loser. You are all winners. And it has been very difficult and very painful, you know, because for me, the 10, they were able to arrive to the final because they can be winners. Unfortunately, there is a, a moment which it has to be only one, but uh, the career takes more that uh, one good performance in an evening. And believe me, I have seen many uh, finalists in different competitions, which I have the competition of Operalia, and many of the members that they were not winners, they are making a phenomenal career, you know. Don't be disappointed. All of you will have a career, I assure you, that uh, it has been an unforgettable day for us. And I'm sure that we will make music together. We will follow your careers. And uh, this is a great day for all of you. Thank you very much and congratulations to everybody. Thank you, Maestro. Let's first see which of the two Hungarian contestants wins the super final. It works always the same. Our super judge and the Hungarian judge, Erika, were sitting together and came up with a decision. The winner from Hungary is... The talents. 
comes from the heart. This is very important. I know. Our decision has to come from the heart too. Ildiko Rojoni. Congratulations to Amira. You were wonderful. And the award will be presented by the Minister of Human Capacities of Hungary, Miklos Kasler, doctor. When the host said my name, I was very surprised and was very, very happy. Let's see which of the two Czech contestants uh, wins the super final. Based on the decision, super judge and the Czech judge, Gabriela Bohakova, the winner from the Czech Republic is... I'm very, uh, very proud of their performances. So every time I see them, I'm obviously very thrilled and, and these are my favorite moments. So, the name of the winner is Martin Schulz. And of course, Edward, you were fantastic. Thank you. The award will be presented by the ambassador of the Czech Republic, Tibor Bial. I'm really happy because I, could, I couldn't believe that I could win this really nice prize with Czech Republic, you know. So next we have the two Polish contestants. The winner from Poland is... It was the most difficult evening because it was painful. We had a big discussion when we met as jury because uh, we had different opinions. David Sibiecki. Thank you so much, Zarina, for everything that you did for us. The award will be presented by the Deputy Minister of Culture and National Heritage of Poland, Paweł Lewandowski. I'm really very grateful to the judges for giving me a chance to continue my musical education. And of course, all of the money I won, I'll spend it on a new accordion. Now let's see which of the two Slovakian contestants wins the super final. Based on the decision of the super judge and of the Slovakian judge, Peter Valentovich, the winner from Slovakia is... The two Slovakian contestants were so good. You know, it's so difficult to, to, to say who is better, who is worse. It's, it doesn't exist like this because also they play different instruments. Aina is flutist and uh, Alžbeta is singer. You know, they're different age, but they, they both are really very high level. So it's going to be very hard and heartbreaking to, to decide. The winner is... Aina Maro.
Azeta, big thank you for you. You were wonderful. And now the award will be presented by the program director of radio and television Slovakia, Anton Šulik. When they said my name, I didn't even know what was going on. Am I supposed to be happy or should I be sad because of Betka? I really didn't know what I was supposed to do. So we have still two Serbian contestants waiting for the word of the super judge and their juror. So let's see what they came up with. The winner from Serbia is... Virtuoso's competition is a great opportunity for young musicians to compete, but not only to compete, to make new friendships, to have a new experience, to learn something new about music, about life, about people. You're a nice couple, the two of you. <laughs> but I'm afraid you will have to let the bride go because it's Vuk Vikalovic. Bravo Vuk and bravo Cristina. Cristina. The award will be presented by the Secretary General of the President of Serbia, Nikola Selakovic. Thank you. When they announced the winner, I felt wonderful. I had goosebumps. It was a wonderful feeling. And I do want this feeling forever. I can't explain it. I just can't. Let's welcome the winners of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. Ildiko Rozonic from Hungary. Martin Schulz from the Czech Republic. David Sibiecki from Poland. Aina Maros from Slovakia. And Vuk Bukailovic from Serbia. Here are the winners. But I think everybody, all contestants on this stage are winners. These are fantastic talents and they are the future of classical music. And we are proud of you. We say goodbye to you. Thank you. I'm Thomas. And Ida. Remember her. You will see more of her, oh, hopefully. I hope I see you so much wow. more. <laughs> Thank you so much, for, you. Thomas, for this amazing, magical adventure. Goodbye and good night.